Welcome back to another episode of Gunny Tales, where we break down some uh, some interesting stories from the 20 years that I was in the Marine Corps, whether it's barrack stories, combat deployments, UDPs, MUSE, anything like that. So today, we are going to go to 2009-2010 time frame. I was with 1st Battalion, 6 Marines. And we went into Marja, Afghanistan. It's a pretty, I guess, sort of historic deployment for like Afghanistan. Uh, you guys should check it out if you haven't read up on it or whatever. This story is going to uh, involve one of my buddies, Ryan Madden. All right, so I got to go by first names with him. He would be very upset. And that's why I'm wearing a Misfits shirt because he was a Misfits junkie. So... Ryan was part of 2nd Platoon. He was a sergeant squad leader. I was uh, a staff sergeant at the time. And uh, like I said, we were deployed to Marj Afghanistan. And this was already after we flew in. We'd done the initial insertion and, uh, you know, the invasion of Marj, whatever the fuck you want to call it, Operation Mosh Uh We've been there for, man, I think it was about two months and uh sergeant madden he was part of uh at the time was staff sergeant vallejo's platoon second platoon which is now gunner vallejo and he's actually getting re getting ready to retire uh beginning of uh 2025 i'll be going to his retirement uh good friend of mine but anyways staff sergeant madden the squad leader second platoon and second platoon part of alpha company was uh they were on the outskirts of Marja getting, they got shit on a lot. They got contact pretty much every fucking day. I was a part of mobile. We went there like nonstop and supported them, trying to help them. Anyways, they get hit. Uh, they get into a pretty extensive firefight and they're calling us up for a medevac. Hey, we, you know, a support and a medevac and calling us up. So we're trying to get to them and they're, like not off any actual main roads in, in Marja. So Madden's on the radio and he's calling up and he's trying to guide us in. And he's like, you know, take a left on this small path and this. And we're driving MRAPs. We don't have Humvees. We're driving MRAPs, MATVs. We got a fucking six by MRAP. If anybody's seen those things, those things are, are gigantic. So we're trying to get to him. They're still having pop shots after the firefight. So, you know, we're trying to trying to get to him and madden's like you know go down this road and we're driving these mraps down like roads that like if you're driving a goddamn prius down it you're you're barely fit through we're knocking down walls and we're just driving through fields and like trying not to hit random ieds this goes on for like five or ten minutes and madden just keeps calling us and he's like yo turn him i'm like bro where where the fuck are you like like can you like help us out bro like i know you know like directions and this and that and i'm like who's who are you calling in the medevac for and like they read off the stuff and i'm like madden this medevac's for you i'm like what the fuck i was like give the fucking my if and because they it, calling in the medevac because they're talking about one of their marines got shot in the head i should have said that earlier uh the medevac was someone got shot in the head and then he calls his the the zap report and i'm like madden that's you you're calling in, you're calling in a medevac and like trying to call us in and you got shot in the fucking head. Yeah, I'm like, get up, get fucking Mike the uh, Sergeant Schilling or at the Corporal Schilling, I think at the time he was Sergeant Schilling on our next appointment with me. Either way, uh, Schilling gets on the radio and like we end up having them pop a, uh, a pop up. So we get to him or whatever. And yeah, Madden, he got hit in the damn, he got hit in the Kevlar. It didn't go all the way through, but he got hit in the Kevlar and was trying to call a medevac into us and let us down for like 10, 15 minutes down these crazy ass roads. And uh, the funny thing now is, is, you know, 12 years later, 13 years later, 14 years later, the story always is anytime Madden ever talked about like, yo, you know, told me you know, shot in the head. It always goes to, bro, you see those roads we went down? It, it's, it may not seem funny to you guys, but it, it is to us because like the dude got into a, a pretty big firefight, got shot in the fucking Kevlar and was calling in his own medevac trying to guide us in. 
and like we drove down this crazy ass shit and like as a joke to Madden we downplay him getting shot in the head and like trying to call in his own medevac to us driving around in like these crappy ass fields and everything and I love Madden to death and yeah it always goes to just you see those roads we had to drive down and stuff and anytime me and him talk to each other it'll be it, anything if he comments on one of my instagram it don't even have to do with anything it'll just be him posting a picture about something and i'll just comment remember those roads we had to drive down or i'll post something and have like i said it'll be one of my art pieces and madden will just be like bro you remember those roads you had to drive down but uh yeah so that's one of the stories and uh again i appreciate you guys for sticking with us uh I'm gonna, like I said, this is like the fifth episode I've done with doing these uh, the gunny tales, and I hope you guys like them. And for some of y'all that like don't know my career, this is gonna give you guys a little uh, a little dive into some of the stuff that I got to experience and, and everything like that through the past uh, the 20 years that I was in, from a private all the way up to a gunnery sergeant. And like uh, you guys got to see last week. Yeah, you know, I had my twin brother in and it was a story from him. And hopefully I can get with some of my other buddies. Uh and it'd be cool to sit down and do an episode with some of my buddies. I'm getting ready to move and I know Ryan Rice, uh a Marine that I did two deployments with. We might be able to get him to sit down and do some stories. But anyways, leave some comments.